Thanks to our friends at Ethan Allen for that nice little tip there. Now, entertaining guests and cooking isn't always easy to do, but with the right recipe, things can get a whole lot easier. And we're celebrating a little bit early. Cinco de Mayo <laughs> joining us now here live in the Bender Kitchen is Chef Jamie Sidney. Welcome back here to the Hi, show. Thank you. And you're a model, now you're a chef, right? Yes. So so let's head on over. We're going to start okay. off with this margarita that you're making. What, what makes well, this one so unique? So because it's Cinco de Mayo, I figured why not make a blood orange margarita? Let's I do it. I thought that would be delicious. So what I did, I get this uh, blood orange juice at um, Whole Foods. Okay. And um, what we're going to do is put some blood orange. Right in there. Right in there. Okay. And that's just and any then, pitcher. Any pitcher, I, I chose a mason jar oh, for cool. one. Um, you can have a white pitcher. Spice if you'd up like. the look a little bit. Yeah, it's it's kind of, and then lime juice, lime juice. fresh squeezed lime juice. And any amount, or do you, do you recommend? Um, <clears throat> there are measurements, yes. Okay. <laughs> but well, you, um, you guys can check out the recipe later today. Yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah. We'll eyeballing it. Um, and then this is a silver tequila. I like to use silver instead of gold. Now, it's, I noticed there's a little bit missing here. Was this a little pre show <laughs> celebration today? We, had, we tested some earlier. Yes, we did now. Um, but anyway, this is silver and it's quite good. I like to use <laughs> Patron. And so. Um, when we make yeah, the just keep pouring a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, you can be as heavy-handed as you would like to be. Yeah. And, um, here and then we need to sweeten it a little bit. So we'll put some either simple syrup or agave. I'm using agave nectar. And that's basically it for Yummy. the margarita. So, and then I like to take a glass. These are pretty glasses, and I like to mm -hmm. put them in here. And then... Now, is it just water? This is water. water and okay. then this is orange zest and sea salt. Ooh. And How about a little sugar? Can you add a little sugar on top? Yeah, of you can do that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people don't like salt. So that's a very good suggestion. You okay. could use nice sugar. So this would be the glass. Nice. And we would take blood orange. Slice. Drop it right there. And I, I missed lime. something actually, which, which I'd like to talk about is the blood orange itself. Oh, okay. Because um, blood oranges are winter fruits, but they're around right now in the spring, so mm -hmm. you can use them. And they're just red. That's why they're called blood oranges. Blood oranges. They're a little bit, yeah, they're a little bit more tart mm -hmm. than a regular a orange. Different taste. But very pretty, and I use them in salads and all sorts of things. So. Well, as as we go to break here, of course we have <laughs> to pour a, a little bit of the actual <laughs> margarita. Without let's, getting uh, it on ourselves. Oh wait, hold on. Let's pour a little bit. Look here. at the color, isn't it so uh, pretty? So beautiful. I, actually, you know what? I think we're going to send things over to, to uh, Teresa. We're we're going to have a few sips here in the kitchen. <laughs> well, that sounds like fun, right? Save me some. Me 